Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 191 here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. Um, I'm not an expert on this coronavirus or viruses in general, so I'm not going to do a video on that other than to say check out Patriot Nurses latest video series. There are several videos she's made on precautions and what to do if you are infected. Very good video. Um, from a very trustworthy patriotic source um, The video that I'm going to do today is I'm going to compare the awesome Magpul Okay from Magpul with homemade mag snatch and I guess I need to take this out of this uh, Holster because this is not the correct one for it that I have made okay. I put these on uh, most of my magazines and it's because personally I don't like these as much as I like the ones I've manufactured so let's see how they will work in the rifle as well as one without it one of these small ones and the reason I'm doing this is I was watching a video Mr. Guns and Gear did and he had I think it was either 10 or 15 rounders and he was having a hell of a time getting them into the rifle the 20 rounder is what the rifle was manufactured for but having these around you need to go prone and get low to the ground is a good idea but that can be a little difficult especially when you're used to inserting a magazine into a AR-15 and, and it falling either falling straight out or you pulling it out uh, after you've released it these are mag or uh, a zoom snap caps I'm using a zoom snap caps this is a loaded mag this is a loaded mag let's remove them so nothing happens and my original a zoom snap cap so we're going to do a demonstration real quick just to see which one we like better um have old betsy here the uh, chamber is completely empty i can look right down in there and see it is completely empty gonna lock it back okay and uh let me lengthen my darn sling back out here to where it would normally be in the field you fire the last round you dump that magazine you pull this and up and out snap it home boom you're in there it's locked and you reach up and you would uh, of course hit that so that's pretty quick pretty easy let's go okay the magazine the bolt has locked back as it is designed to do pop this one out Put your foot, I put my hand on the bottom of these with the bare foil plate. It works fine. Get right back in there. Pop it out. I don't know how we're doing this ass backwards. Now, of course, this is standing. This is not prone or whatever the case may be. Mag snatch. Oh, little difficulty. Need some practice on it. But see, all right, on the short magazines, now I'm there, I have a couple of these on other magazines, but on this short magazine, it has wedged it into it. It is allowing some pressure. Okay, so it's a little more difficult to get it out. Let me try that again with my little uh, improvised pouch I got here. Well, I thought I was recording on that last go, but I, I wasn't. Um, short magazine mag pull is not the ideal solution. It uh, not on this rifle. It, it tends to hang it up and apply downward pressure. So when you press it in, it won't allow it to unlatch right here at the rear. It's no big deal. I think I'm gonna change that and add it. Add this sample piece of kydex now if you don't have kydex most people don't just take your detergent jug after you're done with it rinse it out real good and then cut it up in little thin strips that mimic the width of the front and rear of the magazine the rear is generally wider because of course the base of the cartridge is front's a little narrower and you don't want it sticking out to hang up or cause issues um, i'm going to make one for the other magazine and try it out and see if it works better and then I'll uh, do some more recording. All right, ladies and gentlemen, not everybody has um, 
Kydex, okay? Uh, you can order it offline, maybe you don't have it, but a lot of us drink coffee, and it doesn't have to be a Folgers can, that's just what I drink. I like 100% uh, like Colombian. I don't like weak coffee. I like strong coffee. I like something you can stand your damn fork up in or your spoon and it works. Now, what I want to do is show you how you can make one of these mag snatches out of just plastic. Now, it doesn't have to be a coffee can. It could be a, a laundry detergent bottle. Um, a lot of different things like that. Uh, this and a pair of scissors. That's all you freaking need. Um, I'm going to start a cut. <clears throat> And uh, you have less control with that blade than you do with this. So I'm going, I got my cut started. Now I'm going to take my scissors. And just I shoved it through where I'd cut it with that. And now I'm going to just cut all the way around, cut the bottom right off of it. This pair of scissors is not the best damn thing for this. But if I accidentally grab one of Kim's sets, oh yeah. There's a beating coming. And everybody makes fun of me for saying that. And Kim ain't never laid a hand on me, ladies and gentlemen. But if you mess with a woman's cloth cutting scissors, you are getting a beating. I mean, you're going to get punched right in the face. And, you know, everybody's going to laugh at you. So there you go. Make damn sure your hand is away from where you intend on the blade going. Don't poke a hole in your hand. I mean, definitely, I laugh at your ass if nobody else does. Boy, that damn plastic tough. Or maybe it's my damn blade is a war slap out. Irregardless, got a hole punched in the booger. Now these ugly, useless, nearly useless scissors are going to poke them in there. going to cut the top ring off. And then we're going to split this baby in half. The top is apparently a hell of a lot tougher plastic than the bottom. Don't you worry. Sunday, uh, March the 15th. So this month is almost gone. A few days, I'll be 47. Happy birthday to me if I live through the coronavirus. Um, I think a lot of people are panicking, flipping out, but you have to understand this is a new virus, new to the continent. Uh, it's like when we, the great explorers of the past, went to South Africa and the Africa and different places, and they took the things that they were immune to, to the population there, it killed a lot of innocent people just because their immune systems were not up to par. So if you have a compromised immune system, all the precautions that they're speaking of, you should take. Are you a damn fool? And in that case, you're probably better off to kick out any damn way, because if you're that stupid, hey, more power to you on the top of the grave. That didn't sound right, but it don't matter. I mean, hell, I'm distracted here. Give me a freaking break. All right, wipe well, all the crud off of it. Um, it is the oils from the bean that make the coffee. So there's oils in there as well, well as uh, fibers and so forth. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's get us a measurement, an idea of how far we want to go. So right about uh, there. Give yourself a little leeway. I'm going to go ahead and cut it right there are good and then a grease pencil or crayon would be helpful at this moment in time don't cut yourself with your scissors your, your wife will laugh at you like you can handle a power tool but you can't cut with scissors what the hell's wrong with you you damn teddy baby that's when you tell her get her ass back in that damn kitchen cook you a damn pie and if you do that, hey, that's all on you, baby. I'm just kidding. I'm only kidding, Scout's girlfriend. I'm not going to name your name, but I'm only kidding. Yeah, you know, Scout's got him a new baby doll. She's a sweetie. They cooked me dinner last night, and I was appreciative. 
if you're worried about making such a super straight line you have worried about the wrong damn things all right we got that now let's trim up the other side so it's not going to tear us up you know sometimes when you're on camera stuff just wants to be a pain in the buttocks but I know there's going to be somebody out there who will want to see how I did it. It's simple. It's easier than picking boogers out of a dead man's nose. Which, you know, may not be that damn easy. Who knows? And that's why I hate those damn scissors. My big fat knuckles get caught in there and then you're in deep duty. Alright, so I do need to trim a little bit more off the back end. And being a little narrow or than the magazine never er is not a bad thing round that corner off and if you have files and all you can take a file and knock that pla that excess plastic right off again try not to cut your fingers off your wife girlfriend mother will laugh at you if you do and i will laugh with them oh yeah my finger got stuck again and yes it's finger. It ain't finger. It's finger. If you're going to say it, say it right first damn time. Measure it, sort of. Get an idea of how much. If you have a heat gun, this is a good time to get that, be, that dude out. Now, we don't want it up too close to the latching mechanism or to the, the hole in the front where the uh, op rod spring guide goes. So, we're going to back it down. That's how high it would stick up. This is good for this short mag to get it out of a damn magazine pile. So it's not a deterrent. <clears throat> uh, my mom, my mom, take your duct tape, peel you off a section, and then uh, cut it down the center. My damn table is filthy right now, so this is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. Use my little magnifying lamp to hold that in. And before you cut it off here, take your freaking razor, pull a little tension on it, poke your freaking razor through there. This this is duck brand duct tape, duct as in D-U-C-T, and uh, it's not the best damn tape in the world. Gorillas, mo better, mo better, mo better. If you don't hold it, it'll stick to itself, make a mess. That's me how I know. So now you got a strip. Remember, the duct tape, the quote unquote Alabama chrome, is for strength to hold it to the magazine body. Hold it up in the air a little bit, and the duct tape will not stick and get in the damn way. Yeah, this is crude, but uh, in uh, real world combat, the troops were using 550 paracord instead of plastic. They didn't have access to plastic like we do in the States. So they used shoestring and they wrapped it with their 200 mile iron duct tape and it worked fine. There you go. Homemade mag snatch. And this one here, baby. Let's see how it would fit. Right out. This magazine's a little out of spec. You can see it's got some shiny spots on it. Someone gave me this magazine. I don't remember who it was, but thank you very much. It worked fine. <clears throat> now let's see how it works in the old magazine well of the Sage International chassis. You know, when you got the bolt back, they don't tend not to want to rock in. Maybe. You know what? That is still going to interfere with that big damn magazine catch. Hmm. Back to the drawing board, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening is it's interfering. I got to cut some of that excess off, move it down. This is called trial and error. That's where you try it out. 
before you go in the field with it. So, on video, we will unscrew the screw up. <clears throat> the fun part is to get the duct tape back off without tearing it all to pieces. Move it down a touch more and then try again. Get that away from the bench. I don't want it to get filthy because I intend on using it there, 10 volt Roger. See how I rounded that end off? Still need to round out a touch, but ow. I think I'll do the same with this end. Move it back. To right there where you can see the black, because someone has painted this thing in the past. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Wrong side, right, correct side. This may not work on this particular magazine. I was hoping it would, but that big long wide paddle of the uh, tactical magazine release is getting in the damn way with these tiny magazines. I do not like these tiny magazines, but they are a necessary evil. Before we even waste our time putting that second layer of duct tape, let us see if it shall, if it will work. Ah, it went in. It went in. Look at there, baby. All right. Mac Daddy succeeds again. Ten for right up. All right. Look at there. And I did say, looky there. Now, let's go over gourd head. Well, let's not even gourd head yet. We're wanting to camouflage this. We don't want that red there. Now, if you want to use this uh, just at the range or something, I mean, who gives a shit? But if you intend on using it in the field, you will want to camouflage it. Right now, this bright green actually would not be a bad color because every, this green is identical to the color on those damn wild hedges out there. Again, we're wanting to measure this. A little long is good, a little short is not wondrous. Watch your fingers. All right, that blade is dull as crap. Start on either side, put it on, use your thumb to get all the air out and to make it adhere really good, including in the crease. Cut off your excess, and I do not recommend using the razor this time. I recommend pulling it up off the mag's body just a touch. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. -y. That's another good southern word. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. -y, Bob. It's another good southern saying. Yes, sir. -y, Bob. See, you Yankees just. You don't have cool sayings like that. I mean, you just don't have cool sayings like that. You have 
busting my balls up there in New York, New Jersey. Are you busting my balls? No, I'm not. I wouldn't want to touch your nasty old balls. Thank you very much. Take that excess, a little bit that's left over, and use it to cover the inside strip that is still red. Whoa, look up there, Mac Daddy, you was able to rip it. Okay, guys, I'm bored, all right? This is this is not rocket science, okay? So it's actually boring for me. And I'm entertaining myself. Keep from going to sleep. It's that bad. As we call it here in the South, that's pitiful. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Another piece, because we have red right there, you dart, do you tend for the Roger May driver, and just apply it really, really well, wrap that little bit on the outside, all right, now, Sharpie marker, I'm going to break up the straight lines. I do not have any other coloration out here with me at this time. So we're going to just add a little bit. And this is just showing you guys. You can take a freaking Sharpie marker and apply camouflage. And I don't know why I got, I got ahead of myself. Yes, I did. Seriously, I mean, I did. Now, calm down. We're going to unscrew this. Yeah, definitely need another blade in this bugger. Watch the fingers. Damn it. I was not able to do it correctly, but it'll work. Yep, 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 and yep. This is only because the Sharpie marker or paint will adhere to this duct tape or this uh, frog tape, I think is what this particular brand is called that uh, old buddy, old pal Jimmy brought over. When I painted his rifle, he was worried about me using up all my tape, and I'm like, dude, seriously, it only took. Just the tiniest little bitty bit. No big deal. That man does not take advantage of anybody. You cannot beat that guy. I mean, he is just the salt of the earth. Super nice guy. You do not want to go too much further this way because of the latch. I mean, you don't have to go out and spend a freaking fortune on magazine mag pulls. Not that they're, I mean, they're real high quality uh, product. And if you have the money, sock it to it. But you don't have to. Combat expedient is a good thing. Now, we have to test it again. We may have applied too damn much tape. And if that may, if that is the case, ooh, look up there. Yeah, a little flexibility is not a bad thing there, ladies and gents. Now, Just breaking up that damn straight line. That's all we're doing. Breaking up the straight line so it doesn't say man made. It says natural. And I've all, I mean, it's just, you know, 
from a distance. It's not going to do shit right up point blank range, I don't imagine. Deplorables, the deplorable infidels of America shirt that Mr. Jimmy gave to me. Is that not awesome? You better say it's awesome or I'm going to shoot you in the damn pinky toe. That gives you the ability to get that magazine on in there. If you set the rifle on the ground, it will mash down. Okay, so that is an awesome addition to my friggin' rifle for combat if it comes down to that. Let us hope it does not. This is Mac Daddy 1911 one with the Shade Tree Survivalists as well as the Deplorable Infidels of America. Yo, Hillary Clinton, stick that in your hind end, you old battle axe. Y'all take care. Thank you very much for watching. Don't stress if you don't have the money to purchase an awesome mag pull which are they are but they're like ooh, 13 14 dollars for two of them they're not hard plastic they will not cut your hands they are very stout plastic of, of a type that's soft and pliable um they will not hurt your hands they do the job uh i just hate them I like my personal ones better, um, but I bought them figuring, okay, well, the idea of pulling the mag out of the pouch with a mag pull is their idea, which in reality, it's probably the troopers out in the field who come up with it, but, you know, it's worthy, uh, you know, they, it's their idea, so I figure, what the hell, I'm using my own version, might as well give them some kudos or something. Um, yeah, I'm always, I camouflage everything, ladies and gentlemen, I do, I cannot help myself. And there you go. Maybe a little right there. Just for craps and giggles. This is Mac Daddy 1911 May 1, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we've been preparing for, pandemic. Uh, whether you get infected or not, most people will get over it. Um, but we've already had one stabbing at Costco. It will, if it gets really bad, it'll be worse than that. Y'all be careful. Take care of yourselves. Keep your powder dry. And I hope you already had some food on hand um, and we're better prepared than we are here. But regardless, we're not going to do no, any looting. We're not taking anything from anyone else. Um, and we'll we will defend whomever needs defending. I hope you're not a monster. I hope you're not an animal, and that you do the right damn thing. Anywho, that's the subject for another video. Thank you very much for watching. This is Mac Daddy 1911 one with the Shade Tree Survivalists signing off. Y'all be good out there now, and I do mean be good.